Exercise Man is on the move, bringing health and exercise to you and your family. The Paul Gaudino Family Fitness Show promotes body, mind, and spirit for a healthier family and a stronger America. Paul Gaudino is a winner of the President's Council on Physical Fitness Leadership Award and two-time Guinness World Record holder for the longest-running family fitness show seen in America. The Exercise Man is on the move and coming to the neighborhoods around the world to help you come alive with exercise and live a healthier, happier lifestyle. Yes, life does begin at 40, and the key to better health is daily exercise, good nutrition, and proper rest. This program is dedicated to you, your family, and your well-being. So let's get on the move with Paul Gaudino, the Exercise Man. All right, all right, it's time to exercise. And if you've had a problem, maybe you've been in an accident recently, you're in a wheelchair, or you can't do many exercises like you're sitting on, being in a chair, we've got the exercise show for you, and we, we want to help everybody, no matter what condition you're in and what age you are. So remember, our chair wheelchair exercise is every Tuesday. You can count us being here, and we want to count on you being the other side of that TV set. But you know, how do you know what shape you're in? Well, you do a test. Well, if you join me right now, just these simple exercises and find out, you'll find out at the end of this 30 minutes, are you in shape or out of shape? That's when you should always check with your doctor, even if you're not sure of yourself, check with your doctor. Okay, take a deep breathing exercise. Now first inhale, blow it out, inhale again, blow it out. Now we're going to do simple exercises that you do the best you can. If you can't move your legs, do something with your arms, okay? But do some movement of any kind. Movement is life. Now, the lower extremity, if you can, just extend your right leg out like that. Just lock it out, that the knee's locked, and you can feel that working on the upper part of the, the, the thigh muscle. Down. Okay, okay, Mr. Musi, here we go. Just for the right leg. One. You can place your hand on that thigh. You can feel how that muscle's contracting. That's it. See how it's working? And it's a simple exercise. Great for those knees. Now, you might want to use a little weight because maybe you've had an accident and the doctor says use weight. Now, if you don't have a weight, say, how do I put a weight on my shoe? Well, you cut out one of your old pockets or your husband's dad or friend and fill it up with sand or whatever and put a gum band, a rubber band around your uh, ankle there and put that uh, pocket on there, and that will add a little resistance to it, okay? They do have ankle uh, weights, too, so you can uh, purchase those. But you can make your own. One more time and rest. Now, let's do the other side. It's one, two, three. Four, five, and remember, beginners, do at least four each of each repetition, and each week add one repetition, and you'll have no problems keeping up with the program, and you'll feel better because success breeds success. And one more time, and rest. Now, lace your fingers behind your head. Now, this time, we're going to raise our alternate legs like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Keep that posture for one. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Come on, pep up that body with exercises. Remember, the handicap is up here. I have them too. We all have those. <laughs> now and then you just go blank sometimes. One, two, and rest. Now we're going to go down and touch our toes, our knees, our shoulders, and reach for the heavens. Here we go, down, one, two, three, and stretch. Now, if you're not sure of yourself, put a belt around you so you don't fall out of that wheelchair or a chair, but you be the judge. Two, three, palms up now this time. Hold the palms up like you're holding something overhead, okay? It's one, two, three, and concentrate. We're going to build a new you right in the comfort of your own home or apartment. You don't even have to leave the house. We make house calls. One, two, three, and stretch. Oh, doesn't that feel good? One more time now. One, two, three. Now stretch it out. Now this time we're going to work and alternate your arms overhead. One, two, three, four, and one, two. Come on, Martha. And happy birthday to Grace. 90 years old. Mamma mia. We're getting younger every year. Ah, stretch it out. 
Congratulations on your 90th birthday. Three more. Two more and one more. I know those arms get heavy. Why? Because they haven't been exercised. That's the benefits of exercise, to strengthen your arm. Now lace your fingers again behind your back. You're going to go to the left side, then the right side. It's over. Two. Three. Four. Beginner stop five. Six. Seven. Let's go for ten. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. Now, during the break, we're going to do some punching bags, like a, like a speed bag. Just work it this way. Then you might want to go backwards if you can. And forward. And we'll be right back. So don't go away. Don't hit your chin now. <laughs> Stomach area. You know, it's hard if you're in a wheelchair. How do I do sit-ups? You can't. But we can do sitting down sit-ups like this. Lace your finger, fingers behind your head like this. Come forward like this, attempting to touch your elbows to your knees, and then come right back. Now the idea when I go say go back, there should be no airspace here in your lower back. It shouldn't be like this. Your back should be flat against the back of the chair. Now lace your fingers. Now you come forward like this. One. And then when you go back, throw the shoulders back gently. Okay, here we go, Mr. Music. Down. And stretch. Exhale. Inhale. Good posture. You're going to look better every day. Be stronger. Have a new outlook on life. Changing your thoughts. Make them positive. It isn't over until you say it's over. So come on. Come alive with exercise. Now remember, when you go down, you exhale. When you come up, you draw the stomach in against the spine. Again, one more time. Down. Up. Now hold it this time. Just hold it there. Mm. Very good. All right. Let me turn my chair around a little bit. I just did that to show you can see what's going on. Now we're going to loosen up the lower back. So I want you to lace your fingers like this up over your head. Then get down through your legs as far as possible and stretch. And then slowly come back up again. Look me straight in the eye. Here we go. Down. Up. See, the wonderful thing about this, you take your time. No rush. Just do it. And you'll see you can. And see if your whole life doesn't change. But only you can do that. How? I take an action. Say, today I'm going to start exercising with Paul, the exercise man. And I'm going to do it every day, no matter what. I'm not quitting this time. I did it before, and all of my friends kept on going, and they look so good. And here I am, the same old, same old. So come on, let's change that thinking down and back. Remember the breathing. Two more now. Down, up. One more time, down, up. Now, this time we're going to do some arm circles like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, can we reverse it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, with one hand behind your neck like this, we're going to slide down the left side of the chair, go down as far as you can. Well, if you can touch the floor, it'd be great. I can't, but maybe you can. Now the other side, stretch. Or you can do the same side. Let's stick with the same side, okay? Until you get to feel it. Keep going each time further. Your feet are flat on the floor. They should be out wide. If they're in like this, you're going to tip over. So keep them out wide for balance. Now over. Draw the stomach in now. Don't push that stomach out. Don't be a, a stomach, uh, a belly dancer. We don't want that. To, you know, lose all control of that stomach and it'll be hanging out there. We don't want that to happen. We want you to look great. Feel great. Okay, two more. Stretch. And rest. Now take a deep breath, inhale. These are important. That's an exercise. Stretch up those lungs and the heart. One more time. You know, sometimes you're taking a deep breath. <coughs> maybe, you're, maybe you're smoking too much. Or maybe you just haven't taken a deep breath for a long time. So try it. But first start out slow. It's exhale, inhale. Always like you're blowing out candles. <sighs> out through the mouth, in through the nose. The combination is a winner. Over. Stretch. Three more. Two more. 
Come on, Martha, that's a grace. Just because you're 90 doesn't mean anything. You can still go into, we've got to get that 100 mark, okay? Over and rest. Now, how much flexibility do we have in our back? Well, we'll find out by just bending forward like this and see if you can get down and touch the floor. Can you touch the floor? Very good. Come back up again, hands back on your knees. Now, each time, go a little bit further down. Up, one more time now. Down. Now, during the commercial break, I want you to do some scissors, either scissors or leg raises, or work your legs up, and we'll be right back. That stomach area, so now this time we're going to bend our right elbow like this and try to go over and touch our left knee, and then come right back, and when you come back, throw that shoulder back. Okay, Mr. Music, are you ready? Legs wide apart for balance. It's one. Two. Remember, now if that's too hard for you, just come down like it's one. Just come forward. If you can, do it to the side. That's okay. We've got to start somewhere. <sighs> come on, Hazel. You're doing much better. Come on, Billy. That's it, Mark. <sighs> come on, Matt. Come on, Carmen. Keep it going. <sighs> come on, Josie. I'm going too fast, slow it down because it might take you a little bit longer to get over to that side. But your pace that you can do is the most important thing. And each time, try to get a little bit faster. Okay, over, back. Now hold it. Hold that stretch. Okay, now shake out the arm. Get that circulation going. Now let's do the other side. Maybe it's in better shape. Maybe it's longer. It's one, two. And remember, you've got to go back, stretch that upper shoulder there, the deltoid muscle, down, stretch. Ah, <sighs> oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Right in the comfort zone home. So remember, when you see our sponsors or this station, or write to them and send them a card and thank them. Because without them, it wouldn't be possible for you and I to get together. So please, take, take time today and say thank you. It means a lot. Over back, two more, and hold, hold, all right, shake it out, very good, now I'm going to stand up, and if you can't stand up, just do something with your arms or your legs, if that's all you can do, now what we're going to give ourselves a, what they call a kickback, it's going like it's one, two, raise the leg up, bend the knee, and kick yourself in the butt if you can, that's it, get off of that apathy, and Make it a, uh, a habit of exercising with us every day at this time. 30 minutes a day, we'll keep that doctor away. Three more. Two more. And one more. Now this time we're going to get close to the chair, body nice and straight, and go way up on your toes and hold that stretch. Down. Again, up, hold. Back, stretch up, down, this time and hold that hold that stretch. Very good. Now, between your shoulders, sometimes they get you get that round Dollinger's hump. Here's a way to unwind that. Just stretch out like this, and then head have your head, neck and shoulders, go through the arms as far as possible, and then come back up again. There we go. Down. Bend your knees slightly now, make them soft so you're able to bend down with the upper extremities. That's it. One more. Now, to begin to strengthen the knees and the legs, as we get older, they get weak. So we're going to go into a squat like this. Something to hold on to. It's down, then lock your arms out. Work that tricep muscle. Down and stretch. Down. Stretch. Down. Stretch. Down and stretch. Now we're going to work the outer hips. So what we're going to do, we're going to raise our leg up to the right side and the left side. Okay, Mr. Music, here we go. One. Each time, try to go a little bit higher. Get more mobility in those hips. Great exercise. You might be doing your wash and put your hand on top of the washing machine and do some of these stretching exercises, waiting for the washer to stop or just... Do 10 or 15 repetitions, okay, and rest. Now, during the break, I'm going to straddle the chair, and we're going to raise our legs up and down like this. 
It's one, two, three, four. We'll be right back, so don't go away. You know, I believe we are what we eat and what we do. One thing we should do is exercise every day and check with your family doctor and uh, watch what you eat. Try to eat more intelligently and stay away from the junk foods as much as you can. Now, once in a while, it's okay. But remember, exercise is the key to the good life, okay? Now we're going to do something for the heart and lungs. You say, well, how can I do jumping jacks in a wheelchair? Well, we're going to kind of show you. We're going to go over our head like it started out like it's one and two and three, and keep going now. This time we're gonna go with our legs. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go for 50. Six, seven, eight. Now a little faster now. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. All right, very good. Now we've got to strengthen those arms. Because remember, when you're in the wheelchair, you've got to have strong arms or you're going to end up with a motor on that there. So see, if you, make sure your chair's in the locked position. Place your hands on the wheel and lift yourself up off that chair. And then down again. I'm going to do it from the side so you can see how it works, the tricep muscles. Okay, hands on the chair and straight up. See how it works the upper arm? You're lifting yourself off the chair about four, or five, or six inches. Down, and of course, if you weigh 400 or 500 pounds, this is going to be tough. So all you're going to do is just do the best you can, just even, even if you don't get off the uh, chair at all. But those of you can, lock out those arms, down. Three more. Two more. And one more. Now, let's go back to where we were, and let's do some easy cooling down exercises so you know just unwind so i want you just to do the wave overhead like it's one and two and three we kind of let that heart rate come down now because we want to speed it up a little bit to strengthen it but it is a muscle over back now let's go back and forth like it's one Now let's work the neck, and rotate the circle. Oh, that time goes so fast. Thanks for letting me spend this time with you. God bless you. Have a nice day. See you tomorrow.